Hi guys, my name is Jalen and today I'm going to be doing my bookshelf tour of jump right into it because there's a lot of books to show and it's going to take a while so let's go. So right here we kind of have a lot of my standalones and contemporary novels and so they're just all really pretty covers and I love them all. Nope I don't like that. Um, these four books usually go on a bookshelf that's right there hanging on my wall but um, the nails didn't hold so right now they're taking place right here. So let's jump right into these books because I love the cover of all of these and so contemporary novels. Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Ratchez. The Conspiracy of Us by Maggie Hall. When by Victoria Laurie. Not a Drop to Drink by Mindy McGinnis. Epic Fail by Clara Lezebnik. The Distance Between Us by Casey West. If I Stay and Where She Went by Gail Foreman. This Song Will Save Your Life by Leela Sales. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Don't Look Back by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Sublime by Christina Lauren. Panic by Lauren Oliver. Another Little Piece by Kate Karis Quinn, Struck by Jennifer Bosworth, Dune by Carrie Corp and Lori Langdon, and last on this shelf, The Selection Stories, The Prince and the Guard by Kira Cass, The Keys of the Watchman by Kathleen C. Perrin, The Fairest Beauty by Melanie Dickerson, Princess of the Silver Woods by Jessica Day George, The Treachery of Beautiful Things by Ruth Frances Long, White Hot Kiss by Jennifer L. Armentrout. The first bind up in the Lux series that includes Obsidian and Onyx. The second bind up that includes Opal and Origin. And the fifth book, Opposition by Jennifer L. Armentrout. The Shatter Me trilogy by Tahara Mafi. Shatter Me, Unravel Me, Ignite Me. And two bind ups, Destroy Me and Fracture Me, called Unite Me. The Across the Universe Trilogy by Beth Revis, Across the Universe, A Million Suns, and Shades of Earth. Framed by Claire M. Poulsen. The Hourglass Door by Lisa Mangum. Watched, Protected, and Created by Cindy M. Hogan. The first book in the Christie Trilogy, Adrenaline Rush by Cindy M. Hogan. The Rules for Disappearing by Ashley Elston. Some Girls Are by Courtney Summers, Entwined by Heather Dixon, Perfect Chemistry by Simone Elkeles, Ascendant by Diana Peterfrood, Article 5 by Kirsten Simmons, the first two books in the Serena series, Of Poseidon and Of Trident by Anna Banks, Defy and Ignite by Sarah B. Larson, Half Bad by Sally Green, Breathe by Sarah Crossan, Dueled and Divided by Elsie Chapman. Matched and Crossed by Ali Condi. All ten books in the 39 Clues series. Um, the first one my brother is reading right now. So the first one's called The Maze of Bones by Rick Riordan. The second one is One False Note by Gordon Corman. 
The third one is The Sword Thief by Peter Lorangis. The fourth one is Beyond the Grave by Jude Watson. The fifth one is The Black Circle by Patrick Carmen. The sixth one is In Too Deep by Jude Watson. The seventh one is The Viper's Nest by Peter Lorangis. The eighth one is The Emperor's Code by Gordon Corman. The ninth one is Storm's Warning by Linda Sue Park. And the tenth one is Into the Gauntlet by Margaret Peterson Haddix. The sixth book in the Cahills vs. Vespers 39 Clues spin-off series called Day of Doom by David Baldacci. Book two in the Janitor series by Tyler Whiteside called Secrets of New Forest Academy. Artemis Fowl by Ian Colfer. 13 Treasures by Michelle Harrison. The complete set of Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery. First one is Anne of Green Gables. Second is Anne of Avonlea. Third is Anne of the Island. Fourth is Anne of Windy Poplars. Is Anne's House of Dreams. Six is Anne of Ingleside. Seven is Rainbow Valley. And eight is Rilla of In Ingleside. Books one, two, and five in the Fable Haven series by Brandon Mole. Book one, Fable Haven. Book two, Rides of the Evening Star. And book five, Keys to the Demon Prison. Incarceron by Kathleen Fisher. Book two and three in the The Summer I Turned Pretty series by Jenny Han. It's Not Summer Without You and We'll Always Have Summer. Cold Kiss by Amy Garvey. Deception's Princess by Esther Freinsner. Cold Fury by T.M. Golglean. Winter Girls by Lori Halston Anderson. What the Spell by Brittany Gergontalus. Book One in the Adventures of Dodd series by Thomas R. Williams. Opals and Outrage by Lynn Gardner. The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. The Complete Series of Lord of the Rings. Book One, The Fellowship of the Ring. Book Two, the Two Towers and Book Three, The Return of the King, all by J.R.R. Tolkien. The Thing About the Truth by Lauren Barnhold. The Complete Series of the Heroes of Olympus by Rick Riordan. Book One, The Lost Hero. Book Two, The Son of Neptune. Book Three, The Mark of Athena. Book Four, The House of Hades. And Book Five, The Blood of Olympus. All seven books in the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass. City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, City of Heavenly Fire. Book 4 in the Michael Vey series by Richard Paul Evans, Hunt for Jade Dragon. Book 1 in the Cain Chronicles, The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan. The Burning Sky by Sherry Thomas. Death Sworn by Leah Cypress. Mystic City by Theo Lawrence. Book 5 in the I Am Number 4 series, The Revenge of Seven by Pitticus Lore. Books 2, 3, and 4 in the Tiger's Curse series by Kalina Hook, Tiger's Quest, Tiger's Voyage, and Tiger's Destiny. Life After Theft by April and Pike. The four books in the Wings series by April and Pike, Wings, Spells, Illusions, and Destined. The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. The first book in the Remnant Chronicles. The first book in the Starters series by Lisa Price, Starters. The first book in the Uninvited Trilogy by Sophie Jordan, Uninvited. The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings. These Broken Stars by Annie Kaufman and Megan Spooner. The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey, the first book in the Fifth Wave Trilogy. Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn, all by Stephanie Meyer. The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner, a novella by Stephanie Meyer. The Host by Stephanie Meyer. A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. The Help by Katherine Stockett. The Complete Hunger Games Trilogy by Suzanne Collins. The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. The first three books in the Aragon series by Christopher Polini. Aragon, Eldest, and Brissinger. The four books in the Thief series by Megan Wayland Turner, The Thief, The Queen of Atolia, The King of Atolia, A Conspiracy of Kings, These Is My Words by Nancy Turner, Book 1 and 4 in Men of the Saddle 
series by Lori Copeland, The Peacemaker and the Plainsman. Four, five, and six in the Brides of the West series by Lori Copeland, Glory, Ruth, and Patience. Unremembered and Unforgotten by Jessica Brody. Just Listen by Sarah Dessen. The List by Sobahan Vivian. Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Kahn and David Levithan. Taken and Frozen by Erin Bowman. Alienated by Melissa Landers. Cinder by Marissa Meyer. The Two Books in the Reboot Duology, Reboot and Rebel by Amy Tintera. And the first two books in the Let the Sky Fall trilogy by Shannon Messenger, Let the Sky Fall and Let the Storm Break. This is my first square shelf and I have Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, and Air of Fire by Sarah J. Mass. And The Assassin's Blade, also by Sarah J. Mass with five novellas in it. This is my second square bookshelf that hangs on my wall. And I have The Selection Trilogy by Kira Cass. The Selection, The Elite, and The One. As I said before, my other one fell out. You can see the hole right there. Um, my dad's going to put it in for me probably tomorrow. So, sad face that it came down. But those four books up there will be going back on it. I've got a bunch of different random books on here. So, right here are a bunch of babysitter's clubs. And I have it from like 1 to 64 with a couple missing here and there. Then I've got a double set of... Twilight. My mom has four Twilights, three New Moons, two Eclipses, and one Breaking Dawn. So she owns quite a lot of those. Then I have a Harry Potter wand right here. And this is my brother's, and it's Harry Potter's real wand. It's not someone else's. And um, he bought it when we went to Florida. And I took it because I wanted it. So, you know. Then over here, I just have a bunch of double books that I'm thinking about doing giveaways for. So, Across the Universe by Beth Revis, Wings and Spells by April and Pike, The Lost Hero and The Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, and Starters by Lisa Price. So, if you think I should do a giveaway with any of those books, let me know. Um, I will do one, I just... Then, right here, I have a bunch of Diary of Wimpy Kids and Dork Diaries that I read when I was younger. And I've also got The Fault in Our Stars and Divergent. I actually haven't watched The Fault in Our Stars yet, because I got it for Christmas and I haven't felt like crying. So we will see. And I've watched Divergent once with my brother and sister. Then, over here, I have another copy of Spells. It's more beat up than that one up there. But... Yes, I do own three copies of Spells. No, I do not know how I got three copies of Spells. Craziness. Then I have Thirst by Christopher Pike. And I really didn't like this book. And that's why it's not on my main bookshelf. Then I have The Duff, um, The Designated Ugly Fat Friend by Cody Keplinger. And it's a really worn copy that I bought on a used book at a used bookstore. And I never read it. I don't think I'll like it that much. I know it swears a lot, so it's over here too. And then I also have Two Way Street by Lauren Barnhold. And I read this in like June or July, and I didn't love it too much. Um, so it's also over here. Um, right here I've got Batteries um, for the lights on my bookshelf, my main one. And then I've got a bunch of... Twilight Magazines and the official movie guide and the director's notebook. My mom is obsessed. It's a little weird. And then I've got all these really old looking books that I got from my dad. Um, they're just a bunch of different ones and I really like them. Then I've got Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein. Then I have Small Persons with Wings. Um, and then in parentheses it says They Hate to Be Called Fairies by Ellen Boram, and I read this when I was younger, and it's an okay book. I have Bridge to Terabithia by Katherine Patterson. The Last of the Really Great Wangadoodles by Julie Andrews Edwards. And last, I have Stark House by Jennifer C. Smith. 